A Maine woman who is a domestic violence survivor is speaking out about her experience after her sister posted a video that's now spreading on social media. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry has the story of her abuse and what she wants to do now to help others. The beginning of our marriage, our relationship seemed like a dream, it seemed perfect. But Melissa Ader's perfect relationship he soon shifted funny. when she found herself in an abusive marriage. She says the last time her now ex-husband, Corey, attacked her was at her home. It lasted 16 hours. But by the time police got there, Corey had taken Melissa and her daughter to another location. The door was left wide open. There were no vehicles there. Uh, there would have been blood all over the walls from, uh, and, and floors from where the attacks took place. Ader says the officers who went to that scene never filed a report. After they left, Corey brought her back to the house for hours more of abuse. Now, Melissa and her family are speaking out to encourage police departments to increase domestic violence training for their officers. She says she's doing it because she knows police are the first responders in situations like hers. I stand behind them, um, but I do feel that we're lacking in, in this area. Domestic violence really is our primary public safety problem in Maine. Officials at the Maine Criminal Justice Academy say they are aware that Maine is ranked 18th highest in domestic violence incidents in the country and have been working to improve training for years. We've definitely evolved. Richard Desjardins is the director of the Academy. He says when he started his career in the 1980s, there was no domestic violence training at all. The state's done a really good job. Obviously, we can do more, we can do better. Domestic violence advocates help teach the course. Rebecca Hobbs is the executive director of Through These Doors. She says training doesn't end after the academy. There's ongoing training for law officers in the field. As for Ader, this pattern of abuse went on until her ex-husband was arrested. He is currently serving a two-year sentence for a bail violation, and Ader is hopeful he'll stay behind bars until the trial for the 19 other counts of domestic violence can be heard. But because of COVID-19, the courthouse in her area is not holding trials. So Corey could make bail and be released. That has her family worried. Her sister, Jennifer Hitchcock, posted a video on Facebook detailing her sister's abuse. It's been shared hundreds of times. There's no way, regardless of what steps are taken, if he's given bail, that my sister is safe if he gets out, period. So friends and family are patiently waiting for Corey's bail hearing and reaching out to elected officials to discuss how Maine can crack down on domestic violence and help people in similar situations. Even if it's just one person, it's a win. Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. If you or someone you know is in an abusive relationship, the Maine Coalition to End Domestic Violence can help. Pick up the phone and call the statewide helpline at one 834 Help.